Jonathan, it looks like you're getting ready for the World Cup. I am actually training for the next one. 2022, watch out. A little early, no? Well, you know, I have to stay ready so that I don't have to get ready. Fair, fair. My name is Rui Costa. Welcome to another episode of Take 5. This is Jonathan. Want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Jonathan Kola. I'm a customer engineer here at Google. Awesome. What are we demoing today, Jonathan? Today, we're going to walk through multi-cluster ingress with Google Kubernetes Engine. Very cool. Let's get started. Yep, let's do it. On GCP, the nodes on your Kubernetes cluster could either all be in one zone or across multiple zones in a region. And on these nodes, you could be running multiple services which you need to expose to the outside world somehow. And for this, you would use an ingress resource. And on GCP, we implement that using the Google Cloud Load Balancer. And it allows you to map HTTP requests to a particular service or services running on your nodes. Now, with multi-cluster ingress, which is actually a new feature, it allows you to route your traffic across multiple services, across multiple nodes. So it's a really powerful feature, really cool feature. So let's jump into the demo. I'm in my console now, and specifically in the Google Kubernetes Engine section. And you can see I have two clusters here that I've already provisioned, cluster 1 and cluster 2, running in US East 4 and Europe West 1. Diving into one of the clusters, we can take a quick look at the configuration. It is a basic default setup. So three nodes running Kubernetes 1.9.7. This is a, these are essentially the defaults, right? So nothing too fancy going on here. We can also take a look at the workloads that are running on the cluster. And we see we have two workloads. These are two deployments running on the two different clusters, and they are both called zone printer. If we dive in to one of the applications, one of the deployments, we can take a look at what the UI shows us. So it shows us basic metrics about what's going on with those workloads running on the cluster, or one particular cluster in this case. And we can see by setup that it's just comprised of three different pods, all serving the same application. Now, we've also actually provisioned an ingress resource beforehand, which we'll take a look at. And if you remember, an ingress resource on Google is provisioned using the Google Cloud Load Balancer, which is what we're going to navigate to. And if we dive into our Google Cloud Load Balancer uh, implementation, we can actually grab the IP address, that's going to be our external IP address that we'll actually use to communicate with the services. So we can grab that IP address and go to our browser and redirect ourselves to that address. And this is what we're greeted with. We have the US flag and a nice welcome message from Ashburn, Virginia. That is the exact place where our cluster is running. It's in the US East 4A zone. Now, what we want to do next is simulate what would happen if one of our clusters or the applications running on those clusters falls over. Underneath the hood, GKE clusters are actually managed instance groups. So we can navigate to the managed instance group page and actually simulate what this kind of scenario would look like. So if we set a restart event to actually restart all of the nodes, this will kill what's running right now. The nodes will be drained and that cluster for a brief period will be unavailable. So we've done that. Hopefully, in a few seconds, we will have a cluster coming offline, but soon to be restarted. So let's navigate back to the browser and see what actually happens now. And after a few seconds, success, we've been redirected to the Belgium zone, that's Europe West 1, where our second cluster is running with the same application. So this is pretty cool. In a normal scenario, wherever your users are trying to access your application from, they will actually be routed to the zone that's closest to them. This is the power of multi-cluster ingress. So what do you think, Rui? That was amazing, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Remember to click the subscribe and share video. And if you are working on any cool projects and you want to connect with us, click on the link in the description below. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.